respected jury members i am nitika mahendru from venkateshwar international school in this video i have narrated a story by using hand puppets and stick puppets the learning objective of the story is not only developing language and vocabulary but also teaching children different rooms of a house and superlatives the name of the story is goldilocks and the three bears hope you like it hello children how are you i really hope that you all are doing great so children uh don't you think it's time for us to go ahead and watch and listen to a lovely story so today i have a friend of mine his name is wiggly the worm and he is going to tell you a lovely story so are you all excited to meet him well let's put our hands together and welcome wiggly the worm hello everybody oh, oh hello children and i am here today to tell you a beautiful story the name of the story is goldilocks and the three bears so then let's get started once upon a time there was a girl called goldilocks everybody called her goldilocks because she had golden hair hello everyone i am goldilocks one day goldilocks decided to go to a nearby jungle while goldilocks was walking in the jungle she saw a beautiful house in the jungle oh wow such a lovely house I feel like going inside that house and see who lives there. She knocked at the door, but nobody was there. She knocked again. Nobody opened the door. So Goldilocks thought to herself that she should go inside and check who all live there and maybe she find something interesting. So she opened the door and went inside the house. Inside the house, Goldilocks saw a dining table. Now children, dining table is a table on which we all sit together and eat food. On this dining table, Goldilocks saw three bowls of porridge there was a small bowl of porridge and then there was a little bigger bowl of porridge and then there was a biggest bowl of porridge there were three bowls of porridge on the dining table As Goldilocks was very hungry, she decided to eat the porridge from the bowls. So, she picked up the biggest bowl of porridge and she started eating it. The minute she tasted the porridge from the first bowl, she said, "Oh my god!" This porridge is so hot. Well, I can't have this porridge. It is so hot. And then she picked up a yellow bowl and she said, "This porridge is so cold. I can't have it." And then she picked up the smallest bowl of porridge. Mm. Let me have this. Mm. 
Wow! This porridge is just right! Oh, I love it! And then Goldilocks ate all the porridge from the tiniest bowl. And then after finishing the porridge, Goldilocks wanted to sit. And there she saw three chairs. One was a very tiny chair and then there was another one which was a little bigger and then there was another chair in the room which was the biggest of all. As Goldilocks sat on the biggest chair she said Oh, this chair is too big for me. And then she decided to sit on the second chair. And as she sat on the second chair, she said, Oh, this chair is big too for me. Let me try and sit on the tiniest chair. So Goldilocks went and sat on the smallest chair. And as she sat on the smallest chair, the chair broke. Oh. And Goldilocks fell on the floor. And did she cry? Oh yes, she did. And then she was very tired. <sighs> so she went into the bedroom. Now children, bedroom is a place where you all would sleep and in the bedroom we all have a bed don't we inside the bedroom goldilocks saw three beds there was one which was very small and then there was another bed which was little bigger than this bed and then there was a bed which was the biggest of all now Goldilocks was really tired and she wanted to take a nap. So she quickly hopped on to the biggest bed and tried to sleep there. But in a while she woke up and she said, Oh, this bed is too hard. I cannot sleep on this bed. And then she went on to the second bed. Oh, well, this bed is too soft. I'm going to sink into it. And then she went and slept on the tiniest of all. Ooh, this bed is just right. And then she slept on the tiniest bed. Now children, as Goldilocks slept on the tiniest bed, the people who lived there, or shall I say the animals who lived there, to whom the house belonged, came back. And can you guess whose house was it? Well, this house belonged to three bears. Yes, children, you heard me right. It was a bear's house. And a family of bear lived in that house. There was a papa bear. There was a mama bear. And then, can you guess? Yes, there was a baby bear in the family. The house belonged to them and they came back. As Papa Bear went inside the house, he saw his chair and on looking at his chair, he said, I think somebody has been sitting on my chair. <clears throat> and then Mama Bear saw her chair and guess what? What did she say? 
I think somebody has been sitting on my chair too. And then, and baby bear, when he saw his chair, what do you think he said? <gasps> oh my god, mom, dad, my chair is broken. Somebody sat on my chair and it is broken. As Papa Bear went further, he saw his big bowl of porridge and on looking at his bowl, he said, I think somebody has been eating my porridge. And then Mama Bear looked at her bowl of porridge and she said, Oh my God, I think somebody has been eating my porridge too. And then Baby Bear saw his bowl of porridge. And what do you think he said? Oh, Mom, Dad, my porridge is just not there. Somebody has eaten it all. Then the three bears went into the bedroom. On reaching the bedroom, Papa Bear went to see his bed. And what did he say? Oh my God, I think somebody has been sleeping on my bed. And then Mama Bear went and looked at her bed. And what do you think she said? Oh my God, I think somebody has been sleeping on my bed too. And then Baby Bear went and saw his bed. And children, what do you think he saw? <gasps> Mama, Papa, come on, take a look. Somebody has been sleeping on my bed and she's still there. As Goldilocks slept on the bed, the three bears went closer. And guess what? The bears looked at her and they growled together. <coughs> On hearing this, Goldilocks woke up and as she saw the bears, she jumped out of the bed and ran out from the house and she never ever came back. And from that day, Goldilocks promised to herself that she will never ever go to a stranger's house. So children, that's the end of the story and I really hope that you liked it. Bye-bye for now. Through this story, the children learned different vocabulary. They were able to identify different objects that are there in different rooms of a house. For example, they knew where they would find a bed, where they would find a dining table, and where they would find a mirror. They were also able to compare two objects in degree. For example, big, bigger, small, smaller. Thank you.